Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your June 2018 tarot reading. This is for the sign of Scorpio for the month of June. Generally my readings are love readings, so it is what it is, right? If you're happy in love or you're not looking for love, then you probably shouldn't be watching this reading. I get these people that comment underneath the love reading. I don't want anybody. <laughs> Bullshit. You wouldn't be watching the reading. Anyhow, this is for the sign of Scorpio. Month of June 2018. What does Scorpio need to hear? Ooh. You know, you could be dealing with a cancer, but you could be dealing with any sign. But there could be a cancer walking away, or you're walking away from them. This is the chariot. It's reversed. This card can also mean so many other things. But there is a um, loss of direction here in, for somebody. Oh, somebody is refusing to see a new approach. Hmm. Seven of Wands, reverse, it's unrealistic. I mean, somebody may feel like they're being attacked, they're being criticized, they're being judged too harshly. You're judging me. You can't see the truth. You can't see what this really is. Somebody's thinking about leaving a situation. There's a loss of direction. There's a loss of, uh, a lack of discipline. Okay, there's a lack of discipline to move forward. Something needs to happen. Somebody needs to move forward because this card is about moving on, moving forward, but it's reversed. Somebody's refusing to move forward. Both of these cards. Refusing. But still feeling trapped and feeling attacked. Feeling like you're judging me wrongly. You know... Somebody is not judging you or you're not judging them correctly. And I do have to state, this can always go vice versa. I did the Pisces reading yesterday and I didn't say that. So I got a lot of comments. Oh no, this is reversed. It could be. It could be. This is for you or the person that you're dealing with, you know. So just, you know, use your common sense. But I feel like in this situation there is a person who is reluctant to see the new approach, they may be very critical, critical of you, and it's causing some arguments, it's causing some fights. I mean, there's some sort of... It's almost like you're dealing with a mean-spirited individual, okay? there you There is somebody in the mix that is very angry. And, you know, it's bringing you backwards. Somebody is bringing you backwards, Scorpio. That is what's happening here. The wheel reversed. They're, they're not bringing you forwards, and that is the damn truth. You're, you're going backwards, if anything. You're dealing with somebody who doesn't bring anything good into your life. And I'm sorry, this is a... This is an air sign, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but it can represent any sign being reversed. This is a person, probably a female, could be a male. This is a person, but I think it's a female, that is very bitter. They're angry. They are very harsh. They're, they're hard to love. You're dealing with a person that is hard to love. That's what I see. They're very critical. They, they are reluctant to see your approach no matter what you say, no matter what you do. And that is the truth. And you're like, you're almost ready to let go of them go because they're causing, they're causing loss. They're causing loss of balance. They're causing um, a chaos. You know, they may be causing you to lose money. They may be spending your money. They're causing a financial mess. They are in a financial mess. Whoever this person is that you're dealing with is causing you almost like a financial uproar, Okay. You know, or maybe they're in financial uproar. Somebody is going through some financial problems right here in this month. And they're being called to be strong through this period. The Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is a very confident queen. Confident, strong, charismatic, 
passionate, um, self-centered though as well, conceited. So you could be dealing with somebody that is, they know what you're dealing with a know-it-all. You are dealing with a know-it-all who is reluctant to see your approach. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, and you know, you may feel like this magician, the magician reversed. You may feel like this is a crafty son of a gun. You are dealing with a crafty, creative person here. They're bitter on the inside. They are hard to love. They're angry. They're upset over something. And it feels as though they do have some sort of craftiness about them that is very cunning and deceptive. Okay, you're dealing with a deceptive individual, and I'm sorry, but that is what this card means. Right next to that seven of wands, it's like they make they might be making you walk on eggshells. You're probably like, oh my god, I'm, I'm walking on eggshells. I'm walking on glass here. You do are they have hidden agendas? You got somebody who has a hidden agenda. They. A secret is about to be revealed about this person. The truth is going to come out. There's this person that you're dealing with or you. Somebody has a feeling of loss of self, repression. There's secrets. They are keeping secrets. I think that you are dealing with somebody that is bringing you backwards because they they don't. They know it all. There's nothing you can do about this situation. And I feel like you're somebody is wanting to move forward, but they aren't. There's a lot of opposition here. There is. Between two people. You're dealing, I think you're dealing with a player. All right? Because this is my player card. And I feel like, you know, this is a loss of direction. And then, then we have repression and hidden agendas. And somebody that is a very crafty, sneaky, deceptive uh, trickster. The magician reversed. I mean, we, we have, uh, somebody's trying to be control as well. The wheel reversed is clinging to control. You're dealing with somebody who is very controlling. Oh. And I feel like Scorp, I feel like Scorpio, you're, you're like, you've been holding on and this holding on is getting old. It's getting old. I think you're really close to letting it end. These are both transformation cards. They're both reversed. So there is a change on the horizon. It may not have happened yet. This is a change as well. I feel like a change is in the works, but somebody is still reluctant to take the next step. Okay. Um, I'm going to get the rest of these, and then we're going to make sure that this is zoomed in. Somebody has evolved here. The time is now, by the way. The time is right now. I will fix this uh, lighting. I'll try to fix the lighting. Please bear with me. Yeah, I guess that's pretty good. Okay, so it feels as though, or I see that right now there's, somebody is blocking, they're blocking out the truth of a situation. But the fact of the matter is, is that they've compromised for too long. I feel like somebody is going through a transformation, but they're trying to control this change. Okay, a change is coming, but we're still trying to control the outcome of destiny, which you can't do, because this is the card of destiny. Somebody is trying to control the outcome, and, you know, you, you, you can to a point, but not really. Okay, if it isn't meant to be, it isn't meant to be. Uh, you know, I feel like something is absolutely ending, okay? We have the death card here and the four of swords. This is the death card as well. To me, it is, Okay. Somebody is refusing an ending. These are both reversed. Something is making you feel empty inside or the other person. Somebody feels empty inside and they're blocking their feelings. They're blocking, you know, the truth from themselves. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
this knight of coins this is the knight of pentacles reversed it's like you're not you're not passing this test you're not it's everything is gone stagnant this isn't practical it's not solid anymore there's no future play in here. That's what this card means. This is whatever situation you're in, it's getting old and you feel like it's getting old. I think that somebody that is watching this has evolved. They've changed. They're not the same person. And they're thinking about blocking communication with another person. This is blocking communication. Reversed. Okay. That's what this card is. And that is the basis of the work. The basis of the reading now either this person is is not communicating with you or you're thinking about commu not communicating with them because whoever you're dealing with is absolutely reluctant to see your side of this your reality your side of the situation at all and it has caused this situation to become stale and stagnant and no stagnant and no longer practical somebody has to really step back and focus so this is a month about coming up with a plan. The planning is needed. It hasn't happened. The plan has not has not been focused on and it is time to focus. It's really time to step back and focus. It's a time of introspection, solitude, stillness so that you can step back and focus on your your inner being and become self-aware of who you are today. It is time for you to step back. What is making you feel empty inside? What is making you feel dead inside? What is making, who is lying to you? What are these secrets? Who's in control? Somebody's trying to control you. And it's caused repression, loss of, of willpower, lack, lack of discipline, and loss of direction, I think, for you. So Scorpio, I feel like this is a month of con contemplating moving on. This is getting old. It is. And it's a the, the the main message for this month is to really step back and focus to become aware of where you're going, who you are now. This this is it. This is a card of evolvement. Who are you now? Who are you today? What needs to end? What has ended? It's there's like a time of repression here. It's a time of trying to figure out what's in what's in store. Where am I going? What do I need to let go of? I mean, I think you're dealing with a person that is controlling and bitter, hard to love. And this can be any sign, okay? We have all signs here, so any sign. There's no stability and security, okay? There isn't. And it's time for you to make progress instead of go backwards. You know, somebody has been needs to find their confidence to end this situation, whatever it is. The death card is an ending and somebody is resisting that ending. It's going to take confidence. It is. You could be dealing, I think you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. That's what I think, but we do have all signs here. So it could be any. But I feel as though it's time for you to take the lead, to be the boss. You need to get creative. Because where you're at right now, it's not solid. It's not. Scorpio, June. It's you, you know, the Six of Pentacles. This is about give and take. It's about generosity. It's about you know, getting what you deserve. You deserve too, right? It's really, it's tough when you're on, you know, when the scales are tipped and you're putting in all the effort and the other person isn't, okay? I feel like it's really time for you to get your life back on track. 
okay? Sixes. 666. Six, six. Get your life back on track. 666. Six, six. I feel like you guys are on some sort of journey towards balance and harmony. And you've been fighting that journey. You have, because a couple of these are reversed. You've been fighting the journey. I think you've, got, you've gone through some spiritual evolution. You're not the same person that you were even a year ago. A year ago. You're not the same person. And now there's no more contentment. There's no more happiness, and you're thinking about leaving this commitment. Because I can't, I can't sacrifice myself needlessly anymore. You've been trying to avoid disaster by staying in a situation that, or, or involving yourself in a situation that didn't never have a strong foundation. And I feel like this is a month of finding your strength, finding your confidence, finding your willpower, finding your confidence and your courage and your discipline that has been lacking to get your life back on track. So that's what I see. I feel like wherever you're at, there is no more growth. We have the Empress reversed. There's no more growth. There's no more fertility. You could be, there's a, there's a lack of self-love, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. So you could be dealing with somebody who is very smotherly, smothering and selfish. They smother you. They're selfish. They're controlling. They got tricks up their sleeves. They they keep secrets. It's sneaky. It's like I'm walking on eggshells. You criticize me. It's almost like narcissistic behavior. And I hate to say that word. I don't like to say that. And not all of you are dealing with narcissists, but some of you are. And I don't like to say those words. But I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Even if I love you. Anyway, I feel like this is a month of getting your life back on track, taking the steps to let go of this situation in which there's no, there's nothing solid, there's nothing stable. It's too critical. I don't want to repeat myself again. We already went through all this. Do I see new love? No, we don't have the Ace of Cups. We don't have the Two of Cups. We don't have the Ten of Cups. We don't have the Lover's Card. No, I don't see new love. I feel like this is a situation that somebody has been in. You are dealing with somebody who has brought you down to the point where you can't move on gracefully. <laughs> that is the first two cards. Trying to avoid disaster. Trying to avoid upheaval. When the fact of the matter is, is that you are going to have to find your strength. To look this fear of disaster right in the eyes. Because you deserve to get and not always give. I feel like there's just, there's just too much. Uh, there's no growth here. There isn't. Now while I'm talking, you know who I'm talking about. Okay, you do. Somebody hasn't been following their intuition as well. Trying to let when you don't follow your in, don't follow your intuition, you're going against destiny. Okay? There's a cycle that needs to end, and that is the truth. There is a cycle. There is a cycle that needs to end, but somebody is resisting it. And all it's doing is is causing. Bitterness, resent. Probably for both parties. Anyway, 
I don't see new love. I do apologize. Um, you have to leave a situation behind. You do. And I'm sorry. Be proud. It's time to celebrate all that you've achieved, all that you are, and all that you will become. Every once in a while, it's important to stop and acknowledge what you've achieved and be proud. Be proud of where you've come from. Don't let anybody steal that pride. It's time for you to really step back and focus on where you're going and who you are. That's what this month is about. You really need to step back and focus on who you are today as to who you were a year ago. You're not that same person. There's something you need to have, you do need to see a new approach. There's no doubt. What that is, where it, where it applies in your life, you need to look at something from a new perspective. That's the truth. Whatever situation you're in right now, it's bringing you backwards. Anyway, and that's what I have for June. Talk to you later, Scorpio. I'm sorry that it's not what you want to hear. It's not what I want to give either. <laughs>